Okay, in this video demonstration, we're going to look at how to create an MP3 player on your Android device. So what this will do is go through and find all of the MP3 files that you have on your device, create a list, and then when we tap on it, it's going to play the song. It stops the previous one from playing and starts playing that song, or we just have a stop button to stop everything from playing. So let's walk through how to set this up. Okay, let's look at setting up our project. Now I've created a new project and I've just called it MP3 Player. And what I have set up so far, I haven't changed anything in the main XML and I've added a new XML file called song item and basically this is just a text view for each of the items that will be in the list. For example, um, in here each of these is what the text view is set up for under song item. So when we have a list view, if we create a separate layout for that, we can uh, do more with the layout of each of the items in our list view. Okay, uh, I've changed my strings XML file just so that it has uh, the text on here for my stop button that I'm going to add. So let's start by setting up our main XML and I'm just going to delete that text and I'm going to go into composite and that's where I can grab a list view and drag it out onto the screen. And in addition to the list view, well, first of all I want to make sure that with my properties the name of my list view, I'm just going to call it list view without a number. And then I'm going to add a button and to make room for my button I'm just going to scoot this up a little bit and then bring my button out here and we'll set my button up with properties stop btn and then I'll add some text to the button I already have this in my strings okay so my user interface is set up in my main XML file so I can close this and now we're going to go into our main Java file and work with setting up the code in here so since my main XML file has the layout in there, I'm going to leave this in there and it's still going to create a list activity, but I do need to change this from activity to list activity because we're going to be binding it to a data source, which is going to be our MP3 files. So I need to import list activity and I'm going to go ahead and get a reference to the stop button. Okay, so I've added the button, the reference to the button, and we have an on-click listener and then we'll fill this in in a bit after we have our media player set up to be able to stop when the button is clicked. So on that same thought, let's come up here and we're going to set up some of our objects so that we can access them. So let me paste these in and review them. So first of all we have a path for our SD card. So we have a constant called SD path and we're setting that equal to the string of where the SD card is located. Next we're going to have a list which is going to contain our songs, our song list, and it's going to be an array of strings. And we're going to go out to the SD card get all of the mp3 files and generate the array and then we're going to have our media player so let me import in all of these and while we're talking about the SD path to set this up to work on your emulator you will need to have some songs on it or some mp3 files so I'm going to go into the DDMS and I'm going to show you how I have this set up I have my emulator and I have an SD card here and if I open that up I have a few of the mp3 files in here but I want to add another one so I'm going to go to my SD card folder and up at the top here I'm going to push file onto device 
and I'm going to navigate to a folder where I have some mp3 files. Okay, and uh, I'm going to add vacation, and then you can see it's been added to my SD card. So you'll need to have some mp3 files on your emulator or on your actual device in order to be able to test this application down the road after we have it set up. So back in my Java file. Now that we have the media player initialized, I'm going to come down here and we're going to set this up so that it will stop. So that should take care of our stop button. So now what happens is when our main layout is being inflated, we also want it to gather up the playlist. So we want to get an updated list of all of the MP3 files on the device. So we're going to create a method called update playlist that will go out and do exactly that. So I'm going to create a method and in here we'll put in the code to go out and find our SD card and find the files that match the extension .mp3. Now our update playlist is going to require us to filter out the files that are on the device or on the SD card by having an mp3 extension. So I'm going to paste in some code up here and this is going to be our class in order to filter for an mp3 file. So we're creating a new class called mp3 filter and it's going to implement file name filter. Now I've got to import that in so let's bring that in and same thing with file. Now the file name filter you look at the documentation. It is designed to filter file objects based on their names or the directories that they're in. So this is exactly what we're looking for. We have a tool here that we can use the, met the accept method and we can specify the file directory and the string that we are looking for. So broken out, right, we're implementing the file name filter. We have accept our directory and our string name and we want it to return the name and ends with the .mp3 extension. Now in order to implement this mp3 filter I'm going to copy and paste some code in here for our update playlist method where we will use that filter. And Let me just import in the array adapter. So we have a file object called home and we're setting that equal to a new file where its path is our SD card and we have an if statement in here home list files and it's going to use that mp3 filter and we have a for loop that's going to loop through each of them and it's going to add them to our songs array list. Right so up here songs is our list array. So it's going to go out to the SD card, find all the files that match this filter that's created up here to find files that end with an mp3 extension and dynamically create our array of songs. Once we have that array of songs we can use our array adapter to add it to our layout Right, we're going to use the song item, which was the individual text used, and then we're using our songs array in order to populate our song list. And then we're using that set list adapter by using our song list and putting it into the list view. So let's just save this and see if we're getting the list of songs. Remember, I added an extra, another MP3 file. So let's see if this is going to update and collect that and put it into the list. Okay, so when I run it, I am getting an unexpected stop error. So I have a problem here, so I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go back into my logcat and find out what the problem is. Unable to start activity, your content must have a list view whose ID attribute is Android or ID dot list. So this is a common thing that you may run into. So 
if I come back here and I go into my main XML, right, my list here I have set up as list view. So you might think that this needs to be list, right? So if I save this and I'm going to try running it again, and we still have a problem here. So if that's not what the issue was, let me come into the main XML, the code. And the problem with that is the list view, this needs to be changed just a little bit and it needs to be list view Android ID with Android list. So now let me save this and try running it again. Okay, so now it works. And here is my new song. So it did go out and get an updated list of the MP3 files on my SD card. But these don't do anything yet. We haven't implemented that part of it. So of course then our stop button doesn't have anything to stop. So now we can come back to the main Java file and we need to set up the on list item click method. So I'm going to add that in here. Okay, so I'm going to import in the list view and the IO exception and the log. Okay, so uh, in Similar to how we had with our other demonstrations for playing sounds, we have our media player. When something is tapped, we're going to reset the player because we don't know if it's been playing before or not. So we're going to reset it, get the data source for the song for the line number that was tapped in our list view. We're going to prepare and then start it. And if there's an error, then we're going to print out a verbose log statement with our app name and the error message. So with that added, we can now test this out and see how it works. So stop works, playing another song switching to another song, resets it, starts playing the new song. So it looks like everything works just as it should.